their hit cry. See you on Monday. Have a good weekend. Folks, now here's the story about Minnie the Moocher. She was a red hot blue Moocher. She was the roughest, toughest frail. Minnie had a heart as big as the whale.
Greetings, music lovers. <laughs> Superstitious, eh? Oh, vice I kid. Gentlemen, you must control your killing instincts. Keep up. He's here. My mystery date. Mystery date. Are you ready for your mystery date? Don't be late. It would be great. Open the door for your mystery date. Mystery Date, the thrilling new Milton Bradley game of romance and mystery that's just for you. And you. And you. And you. Mystery Date, will you be ready for swimming? Or a dance? When you open the door, will your mystery date be a dream? Or a dud? Oh! Fun and surprises. That's Mystery Date. Remember, Milton Bradley makes the best games in the world. So, girls, open the door for your mystery date. Get mystery date. These men disguise themselves as women and work as geishas to earn a living. Here come the women! Speak to nobody about it, not even your wives. Right, especially not to your wives. Well, how strange. Very strange, especially if she is Natalie. If I speak, war could break out and destroy the world. You'd better stay quiet. I'm not a bit curious. You want to create a diplomatic incident. I'll create one for you. Wait, I will get in touch with my government. You have no more government. It was overturned by a general yesterday, and he was shot this morning by another general who seized power. He fled half an hour ago. <laughs> Why, this is your big chance. Help wanted dictator. No experience required. Huh? More ravishing, more dynamic than ever. Shrewder than ever. Natalie makes headlines again. I think I'm able to give you the name of the killer. It's a woman. Attractive. Very, very attractive. All the same, you're Natalie. You have to hand it to her. She thought of everything this time. I can't believe her capable of such a thing. Hello, boys. Their battle cry strikes terror in the heart of every man. <laughs> the earth runs red with the blood. My friends, I can't ask you to go any further. Dr. McCoy and I have to do this. The rest of you do not.
Nice and easy. Two thousand years into the future and the untold dangers of interstellar flight, Taurus, a planet completely surrounded by water, the spaceship crash lands in an alien sea. What terrors of the deep await the exploring spacemen? Underwater creatures swarm from the depths to exact their primitive vengeance upon the invaders from Earth. Giant crustaceans grapple with the spaceship, clutching it in their great pincers. These are just a few of the incredible adventures man must face as he probes the furthest galaxies. Today, man reaches for the moon, tomorrow the stars. From billions of light years away, I approach your planet. The birds of the air, the animals of the forest, they shall be my ears and my eyes. And because I see your most secret acts, you will know me as the beast with a million eyes. From worlds beyond comes a weird and wanton intelligence, a beast with a million eyes, making of a woman's dog, her attacker, setting up by a flames of wild desire, making of a man's friend, a violator of every code of decency, guilty of acts you will never believe. See a man fight against supernatural forces for the girl he loves. See a beast with a million eyes control a ship from outer space. One of the most fantastic terror thrills the screen has ever brought you. See the beast with a million eyes. Babes. We're here on your Earth as a scientific investigating team. Hey, baby, you're really out of this world. As scientists, these girls are way ahead of us. For instance, in the raising of Vegemen, gigantic man-like robots with fantastic strength. And the things the girls don't know, they're willing to learn. Let me take you away from all this, my sherry. Haven't you ever heard of love? Show me. The gags and laughs come fast and furious in this fun-filled battle of the sexes. One of us ought to go back and warn the colonel. You don't think he's going to believe the story about galaxy gals and guys growing in flower pots? If you would, in the interest of science, you understand, kiss an Earth man, Stand by for a charge, baby. Mr. Spark, sugar. Uh, Mr. Spark, <laughs> back to the plant to act as a depository. <laughs> you have no right. And we have the right. But you have no right. Because we have the right. Then you have the right. This is a ship. It's a drunken occasion, isn't it? <laughs> May our five-year mission expand to ten, and the gallant crew retain their nobility as the royalty of the final frontier. Ahead, walk back to one. Okay. 
Now the little clay man courts danger again. Here's Mr. Bill. The Sluggo Cable Network proudly presents... Mr. Bill, safety tips. And here's the star of the show, one of the unluckiest people in the world, Mr. Bill. Spot, you should know better than to play with matches because they're very dangerous. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Bill. Matches are very dangerous. And speaking of dangerous, kids, you should never ever smoke either. That's a good point, Mr. Bill. I'll put it out. <laughs> You know, crossing the street can be very dangerous. Now, first, you have to look both ways. Okay, now, second, you have to make sure the light is green. Okay, now it's safe to cross. Hey. Make that four ways. You know, things around the house can be dangerous, too, like these electric circuits. Never put any hands around it. Say, I want to watch TV, Mr. Bill. Okay. Another thing you have to be careful with is your toys. Like, you should be very careful when riding your bike. Say, Mr. Bill, let's take a ride on my bike. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Hands. Uh, there's not enough room. Sure there is. Just hop up on the handlebars. No, wait, but I can't hold on. No, wait, no, I'm going to fall. No, wait, no. We're going to try to cross the street again. Now, remember, you have to look all four ways. Okay, I think it's safe to cross now. Make that five ways. Things around the kitchen can be dangerous, too, like plastic bags. You could suffocate in one of these. Say, Mr. Bill, I couldn't finish lunch. I'll put my sandwich in here to keep it fresh. You should never be wasteful. No, wait, I can't breathe, though. No, wait, no. Well, kids, uh, we're going to try one last time to cross the street. Now, remember, look all five ways. Okay, uh, I think we can cross now. Make that six ways. Well, we'll see you next time, kids, and remember, watch out. Nightlight brings you vintage sci-fi with Space Patrol, plus the Smiths, Dead or Alive, and more when we take off to new British music after this. Woke up today.